Shidduch, and what did Levi do? Well, I was running down okay, the street tell the story. <laughs> to meet up with Rabbi Raps for dinner, and this woman in kind of a beat up old van, this kind of old woman, looked a little suspicious. She said, she just like yelled out of the van window, are you looking for a shitter? Now this is not the kind of conversation that normally someone who sneers you know, yells out of a window as they're driving down the street. It's not, it's not generally the Torah's way, but she did it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, go ahead. And uh, I kind of laughed and shook my head, and then she like pointed to her chubby, presumably daughter, who was sitting in the seat next to her, and she said, she needs a shitter. And, uh, and I said, sorry, and I ran on. She said, oh, you run so well, you could run for president of the United States. But, uh, like if I'm running down the sh street, and you want to set me up with a shittuck, I only have like a few seconds to like tell whether or not I want to be set up, so... You know, she better look pretty trim. So the whole problem was her body size. Yeah, well, I didn't know anything about her character, though. It's exactly. pretty suspicious. Now I'm gonna give you. Now I'm gonna give you some jazz. Can I give you some jazz? Sure. Can I? Can I pop some water over your head? Not literally. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drop it on you now. Mm -hmm. That was a very superficial attitude you took, and I'm shocked that somebody as deep of a thinker as you would go for something that superficial in his is judging somebody in 30 seconds. I got two things to say. You can't judge a human being, just look them up and down. And I judged her in about two seconds, it wasn't 30. If you judge her in two seconds, then women are gonna judge you in two seconds. And they're not gonna give you a chance. How do you know there wasn't like some, like the perfect, you know, woman underneath there with great meadows who, you know? I couldn't like, face having that woman for an in-law, like the mother, like, <laughs> yeah, looking for a shitting, like, it's just not sneers. That's in your opinion, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. She was out there pimping her daughter, you know, I'm like, like, she's, she's, driving that. Around, she's driving around chasing after guys in her neighborhood who are running around by themselves, right? You're running down the street by yourself, she's going after them, like, what about this one, honey? Nah, okay, go for him, he's got a nice beard, nice butt. You know, hey, I've got a chick in the bed. Uh, she's hot, you know, she's sitting here, you know. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was in high school and I was oh, running down the street and this guy drove up to me and he said, you wouldn't be interested in a blowjob, would you? And I said, no. So, it, it kind of freaks me out when someone drives up unless they're, like, immediately hot and biting, which never happens, like, never happens. That, like, so, someone who's hot doesn't need to drive up and down streets and yell out at strangers. No, you're looking for a good time. So, just that someone would do that, you know, that they're desperate. Alright, here's here's my thing. Here's my other half of it. What would have hurt just to go up to the car and said, oh, that's really nice of you, I'm really flattered, you know, and just talk to them for 30 seconds and say, you know, uh, exchange phone numbers and then and then give her a call later and, and then, like, you like Pico Cafe, right? And then go back there and say, look, I really like Pico Cafe. I was on my way there last night. You know, uh, why don't you meet me there for a chocolate? Why don't you meet me there for some coffee next week? And then you go there and have coffee. and Because and their freak flag was too big. Like, l let me tell you, I used to sit next to this old guy in Shul. Okay. And he asked me, oh, do you like older women? He said, like, my daughter's like two years older than you. I said, oh, that's fine. And he said, oh, she's got big fuzzy hair. <laughs> I said, oh, that's fine. Well, it turned out his daughter was like borderline mentally retarded. And yeah. his daughter just like was fixated on me. So, one time I go to like Friday Night Live and people <laughs> sign back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying that if somebody's fixated on you, like the only people retarded. who are fixated on yeah, Lady are yeah. mentally retarded? Generally speaking, yeah. <laughs> like, I have a huge following among the mentally ill. So, okay. So, one time I hook up with this uh, non-Jewish Oriental woman, and the next morning I say, hey baby, you want to go to synagogue with me? So we go to synagogue, nice orthodox synagogue, said, you got to sit over there, baby. Now I'm going to sit over here, we'll meet after, after services. And mm -hmm. So she goes and sits down, and this mentally retarded chick, like, sitting next to her, and like, starts talking to her 
all about me and how I've got a girlfriend in Las Vegas. And, <laughs> like, just like, you know, it speaks all this lush and horror about me, like for an hour to like my new bitch. It's like, it's, it's just not sneers. <laughs> so that's your reason that you won't get near this woman in the van? It scares me. Like, I don't like to be around the mentally ill. Or what makes you think she's mentally ill? Because who drives down the street and yells at a stranger, hey, you're looking for a shit act, and tries to pimp out their daughter? Like, that's just, it's just so uncool. It's just so... <laughs> All right, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, people in the chat room, people at home. Uh, comment, uh, let us know how you feel about this story. I'm not sure if I agree with him. Uh, Boy Wonder says, just go for it. Just hit it. That's for sure. Like, like, okay, I'll tell you what, what would happen. I remember once I, I was exchanging some emails with this woman. Mm -hmm. And she was like a bit of a celebrity. And uh, so we, we met once for like three hours. We just talked. And, and uh, then we arranged to, to have dinner a few nights later. And so we had dinner and then I brought her back here. And she was like sitting over here and I was sitting here and a few minutes into our conversation I kind of I leaned over and I kissed her. And then we started kissing and then we like went over here and we lay down on my bed. And we, you know, we kiss some more and we take off our clothes. And you know, she does something to me that's pretty grand. And then I do something to her that's pretty grand. And... Uh, <laughs> Why did not let us go more than an hour with a complete uh, graphic sex story? Later. Then she leaves and she's like, she's really into me and she wants to make me her third or fourth husband. I don't remember. She like she's money? been she's been divorced a few times. She got money. Uh, she got some, and uh, and the problem is the next night I meet someone who's younger. Okay. And so I'm trying to like slowly break it off with the older woman. But she doesn't take too kindly to that. Like, she gets really upset. And so she starts making all these blog posts saying what a lousy lover I am. She like calls me Thumper. <laughs> and she said I'd just like kind of thump her, you know, I just like, I was like, kind of like, uh, what is it when you like drill in the concrete? You know, Sandblast? Like, ah! Oh, jackhammer. Yeah, she said I was like a jackhammer. Like the cricket that died. Yeah, she didn't mean it as a compliment either. Oh, okay. And she she complained that she complained about the crickets. She complained about the crickets, she and you still didn't get rid of them. And she complained that I put my hand over her mouth because she was screaming so loud, and want the neighbors to hear. And she thought that was kind of like violating her to put my hand over her mouth while we were doing it. <laughs> and so she like spills this all out on her blog. She calls my my new girlfriend ugly and like says all sorts of disparaging things and it was just like an, a nightmare so I kind of learned from that you have to be careful about the type of women that you have sex with thank you for that that's very important yeah I think kids, that's kids be, be very careful very important yeah okay alright now you know Ellen's in the 